of another important concept in science acceleration okay so motion motion uh, can be described on, not only by speed and velocity speed and velocity are not the only ways to describe motion motion also can be described by using acceleration what is the meaning of acceleration i want to tell you something very uh, important about acceleration in science it up okay okay most people or many people think many people think or thought that acceleration means when an object speeds up but it is false in sense acceleration means change in speed and this change in speed can be increase can be increase in speed at, at which velocity changes wait late increase in speed or decrease so even even when an object even when an object is decreasing in its speed it is accelerates so acceleration means change in speed or change in direction okay and as we mentioned in the previous lesson that speed plus direction means what speed means velocity so any change any change in velocity means change in accel uh, means acceleration don't worry look here let's take this introduction speed and velocity are not the only ways to describe motion motion can be described only uh, also by using acceleration time now look take this example suppose you are a passenger in a car stopped at the re a red light suppose that you are inside a car and this car stopped at a red light when the light changes to green the driver steps in the gas pedal pedal as a result the car speeds up or accelerates but acceleration means more than just the speeding up so as i told you it doesn't mean only speed up scientists define acceleration highlight this as the rate at which velocity changes at which velocity okay. changes the rate at which velocity changes is called acceleration so a change in acceleration at any change in velocity any change in velocity is called acceleration this change can involve change in speed or change in direction or both of them okay so when any object change its speed either speed up or slows down speeds up or slows down or change its direction or change both of them it is called acceleration Ag again acceleration means change in speed change in direction or change in both of them together okay so uh, if an object changes its direction only it it accelerates if an object changes its, its speed it accelerates if an object speeds up it accelerates if an object slows down it accelerates if an object speeds up and changes direction at the same time it accelerates also so when an object accelerates in science when an object accelerates okay it increases speed decreases speed or change direction this is everything about acceleration or this is this is acceleration in more details speed up yeah sorry increases speed or speed up decreases speed or slows down change direction all of these meaning uh, or all of these involves acceleration bye look at this title change in speed or direction 
when the term acceleration is used, it means one of two things. Whenever you see this word acceleration, it means one of two things, any change in speed. And when we say any change in speed, it doesn't always mean increase, may decrease, increase or decrease. Any change in speed means decrease or increase or any change in direction. Or this is acceleration again. Any change in speed or any change in direction. Okay, let's take an example. A dog that starts running to chase a squirrel is accelerating. You accelerate, another example, when you start walking faster to get class on time. When objects slow down, when objects slow down, they are also accelerating. A car accelerates as it comes to a stop at a red light. So when the driver uh, decreases, when a driver decreases the speed of the car uh, to stop, it is, it is also accelerating. A water skier accelerates as the boat slows down. A decrease in speed is sometimes called de deceleration. Okay, sometimes if the object is, is, is slowing down, a decrease in speed sometimes in science called deceleration. So this is a summary for uh, or a summary for this page or uh, simply acceleration involves these things acceleration means first increase in speed sorry increase in speed to what what is to decrease in speed three change the subhanallah so how the other nab in math i think yeah by the way uh this is math and science are related by the way we we learned this in grade seven but i think you forget right uh Decrease in speed is called sometimes what? Deceleration. Okay. Understood? Bye. Uh, so, sorry, deceleration with one C. Do you have any questions or any comments? So all of these are examples of acceleration when an object start and a dog starts running to chase a squirrel. When you accelerate, when you start walking faster, when objects, objects slow down, they are also accelerating. A car accelerates as it comes to a stop at a red light. Okay, water skier accelerate as the boat slows down. Type. How can we distinguish, inshallah, later when we want, we will learn how to calculate acceleration. When we calculate acceleration, if the answer is negative, what do you think? What does it mean if the acceleration is negative in number? It will decrease. Yes. Acceleration. Okay. If the negative acceleration means that the object is slowing down. If it is positive, so the object is, is the, the speed is increasing. Right. We will learn this later, inshallah. Right. Here, if even an object that is traveling, uh, also other examples of acceleration, even an object that is traveling at a constant speed is accelerating. Even there is no change in speed. Okay, this is also an important point. When an object is traveling at a constant speed, without increase or decrease, it is also accelerating if it is change direction, okay? Provided that it changes direction. So even an object, please, it is one sentence, even an object that is traveling at a constant speed without increase or decrease, but it changes direction, 
in this case it is accelerating therefore a car accelerates accelerates if it follows a gentle curve in the road or changes lanes runners accelerates as they round the curve in a track so simply acceleration means change in speed increase or decrease or change in direction understood yes yes but uh, let's take this uh, box let's uh, solve this box or this exercise uh, here this is okay does the cat lie on the side of the bed uh no okay here ah خلاص شكرا يعني هذول examples in the middle these are examples you you shouldn't try uh, uh, you shouldn't highlight it طيب اه خلاص okay this image shows a basketball player shooting shooting a ball as you see طيب label the two sections this section and this section of the path to identify where the ball increases speed and decreases speed طيب here look here please خليني بس اعمل انوتيت look at this here here in this is in this section when the ball goes like this do you think that the ball increasing speed or decreasing increasing i think no when something go to higher elevations and stream the speed is decrease here de okay decrease speed طيب ناس بالضبط نفس نفس الاشي بس فوتبول مش باسكتبول والله نفس الاشي whatever decreases speed with us here here the ball decreases speed and now here it it increases because it comes down yes increases speed طيب here to understand this يعني when you are for example riding your bike and you go a hill of course your speed will decrease, okay? But when you go down a hill, it's like the same thing. Down a hill, the, the speed increases, time. Time, okay. Uh, look at the second uh, part of the question. Besides, besides, the labels for changing speed. Okay, we know that the ball changing speed here, decrease speed and here increase speed. So both of them are indications. Both of them are indication for uh, acceleration. Besides these, the labels for changing speed, what is another way? What is another way that you can tell from this model that the ball is accelerating? That the ball went up and it went down, so it changed direction. Exactly, thank you. So the ball is accelerating not only because it is changing its speed, because it's also changed direction. Look how it changed direction. So the light From right up outside. To down. That's right. The arced the arced baths baths show. The arced, sorry, the arced path, not bad. The arced path, do you know what is the meaning of arc? This is called arc. This shape is called arc. The arced path shows that the ball, the ball is changing direction. And as you know, changing direction is uh, changing direction means acceleration. So the ball is accelerating here because of two things. It changes speed and changes direction. Okay. So, and as you know, uh, acceleration means change in, di in speed, direction, or both of them. Understood? Bye. Understood.
Turn to the next page, please. Yes. فصل عندكم نت شيء؟ نت لا لا. طيب سامعيني؟ موجودين. So this is also this oh, is yes, in this page uh, more examples and more exercises about acceleration. The pictures show different way acceleration occurs in a race. Okay. Of course, by the way, race is an example, ideal example for acceleration because participants or runners are always increasing their speed or sometimes decreasing at the end of the race, they decrease the speed. And also during the race, they change direction. So race is an ideal example of acceleration. Okay, label each image as either increasing speed, decreasing speed, or changing direction. And all of these things are indication of acceleration and all of these things happens, all of these things happen always in a race. The starting line type, what happens at the beginning of the race? Increasing what? speed. Sanala, please, Nasri, no one answer without permission. Type, hi, Sohr, Ahmed, who buys off? By the way, this Elvis. Don't be a racist, please. Type. At the beginning of the of the race, speed. Allah, Nasreen. Speed of oh, increasing. Okay. Yes, here Sorry. increasing speed. Runners or curve. Or... I think decreases. Where finish line. Which way? Ma'am. Type. Curve. I think speed. here at the middle. What happens? Decreases because they change direction. Here in the middle, change direction. Look, it's a curve. Oh, okay. So in oh, okay. the middle, yani increase, increase. No. Change direction. Change direction. Changing direction. Oh, okay. I forgot. But increase or decrease. Okay. okay. It doesn't okay. matter. Both change direction. It doesn't increase. matter. It's increase. Even they at the same speed. Even the runners are at the same speed, as we mentioned. Simply changing direction means acceleration. Finally, at the finish line, decrease it, decrease. decrease the speed because now the runner or the participant they stop. Or, yes, they he stop accelerating. Yes, he doesn't need to increase its speed. So uh, here, decrease the speed and in decreasing speed. And in all cases, in all cases, it is uh, whether increasing speed changing direction or decreasing speed, all of them are examples of what? Acceleration. All of these are examples of acceleration. Right. Uh, okay. Here, another exercise. Look at this figure. This is the time, zero seconds, one second, two seconds, three seconds. And this is the plane here at the beginning. This is the velocity or the speed. Yes, this is the speed of the plane at the beginning. It doesn't move, it, it's not moving zero meters per second. At one second, at the first second, it is eight meters per second. The speed is eight meters per second. Then second two, it is 16 meters per second. Then 24 meters per second. Right. The question is, look here, a plane speeds up and decelerates throughout its supply. Again, a plane speeds up and decelerates throughout its supply. Right. As the plane travels, as the plane travels down the runway for takeoff, for takeoff. is the plane speeding up or slowing down? Again, the question, it's slowing down to speeding up as the plane travels up. down the runway for take off. Tutlah, take off and is the plane oh, speeding okay, up or off. slowing down? Tayyip, speeding up. Sorry, and thank you very much. Nashuf, another student who can answer. Take off, Ishan, take off. Speeding up. 
Yes, excellent. Excellent. So, uh, as the plane, speed, uh, as the plane travels down the runway for takeoff, it is speeding up. Exactly. Z, thank you. Speeding. Fine. Now, uh, the turn to the next page, we will learn how to calculate acceleration, calculating acceleration. It's very important to know how to uh, calculate acceleration. By the way, uh, to calculate acceleration, of course, you need to know the speed. To calculate the acceleration of an object, you need to know its final speed and initial speed. Initial means its speed at the beginning of the motion. Final speed uh, uh, means its final speed or uh, the after it is moving. Okay, and of course you need the time. So acceleration can be calculated by using this equation or formula, final speed, initial speed divided by time. For example, in the previous example here, what is the acceleration? Suppose that we want to calculate the acceleration of this plane from uh, at the beginning of the motion from zero. So every every second, it, the, uh, I mean, so it sorry, adds, wait, uh, it speeds up. So okay. it, wait, wait, just a minute. Suppose that we want to calculate the acceleration of this plane from zero seconds to three seconds. We will subtract three with zero. Five, and wait, 24 okay. minutes. What is the time? Uh, here, acceleration. Accel I want to abbreviate it as A. Acceleration equals. Should be 24 over 3, which is 7. Okay, wait. Final speed. That is 7. Acceleration equals. Why 2 minus. Oh, okay. Final speed minus initial speed over time. Yes, acceleration means final speed minus initial initial speed divided by the time. Time. Five. Here, the time is from zero second to three seconds. The time is zero. Is sorry, is it three? What is the final speed? Look here. The final speed means when at three seconds, it is what? 24, 24 meters, uh, meters so per is second. 24. The answer is eight. Wait, like 24, thank you. Minus, what is the initial speed? When the time zero. is zero, Okay, the Minus zero. Speed is the speed at the beginning of the motion. It is it's zero. So uh, 24 minus zero, okay. Divided Please. by. Divided by three. Divided by three because three minus zero. Okay, thank you. So it is eight by eight. What, it's eight over one? one. Eight over one, I get. Uh, sorry, eight, eight. What are the units of acceleration? Uh, I mean, I'm just seconds per square. Second. Excellent. Where? Second yeah. But if it is meter per second, it is a speed. But for acceleration, it is meters per second square. Okay, thank you. These are the units of acceleration. Meters per second square. How it how we get this unit? Look, as inshallah, we will talk about this. Okay. If an object is not changing direction, you can describe its acceleration as the rate at which its speed changes. But to, de to determine the acceleration of an object moving at a straight line, okay, if you want to determine the acceleration of an object that is moving at a straight line, like the plane that we see, 
you calculate the change in speed per unit of time. Change in speed per unit of time, like this, according to this formula. Okay, right. Since the speed is measured in meters per second, as you know, and time is measured in seconds, acceleration is meters per second per second or meters. This is a this is simply the units of acceleration meters per second squared because here up look uh, we have the speed is meters per second okay and over time so it is meters over second over second and we can change it like this meters per second times one over second. Do you take, do you know how to multiply, to divide the fractions? Again, look here. For example, if, and now a few minutes, if you want, want to divide three, four divided by what? One half. Divided by. So what should you do? Okay. Multiply by two. Change it will be. Into uh, multiplication. Uh, okay, okay, like okay, three, four. Okay. We change the over two over one. Yes. Which is equal to what? Which is uh, six, six over four. Five. The same thing. Meters Should be three, three over, two. over two. Five. Don't no, worry. No. I'm not, I don't worry about the take, making it in a simplest form. Okay. It, three over two. If we divide by two, both of them by two, it is like this. Okay. Five. Now, the speed is meters, what, over second. And as you know, acceleration speed over time and time in seconds. So now it is meters per second over seconds. It will be like this, meters per or over second multiplied by what? One over second, which is equal to meters per second squared. Okay, understood? Yes. Fine. So this is the units of acceleration, meters per second squared. Second this squared. is the SI unit, International System of Units. I don't know why, because when you hit meters per second with meters per second, it will be squared, right? No, 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 wait, wait, again. What are uh, acceleration? It is speed, يعني speed, well, final speed minus initial speed over time. Okay, okay. wait a minute. I understand, but... No, no, don't worry. What is the units of speed? Okay? Meters, meters per second. Per second. This means divide this line, and you know, I think you know that this means divide, division. So it is meters over second. This is the speed over time, which is time, as you know, is in seconds. We change it to multiplication. So it will be meters over second multiply by. So it will be meters per second squared. Clear? Yes. Fine. Clear as glass. Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, to understand acceleration, imagine a small airplane moving down a runway, preparing for takeoff. Figure six. Right. This is figure six. This is an airplane preparing for taking off. Tayyip. Okay. Here, to understand acceleration, imagine a small airplane moving down a runway, reporting, uh, preparing, sorry, for a takeoff. Balanna, uh, five minutes, five. Uh, shows. Figure six shows the airplane speed after each second of its acceleration. To calculate the acceleration of the airplane during takeoff, you must first subtract the initial speed, which is zero, from the final speed, which is 24 
meters per second to then divide the rate change by time. قارن بين the final speed, the first speed and the final speed. هذا على فكرة اللي كنا على فكرة اللي كان the same. بار بار. Yes. Quick, quick, yes. Yes. Okay. اللي هو حسب ويا in the previous speed here. على فكرة this image يعني أنا عندي هون جاي صفحة حالة بس هي عندكم بالكتاب مع بعض. صفحتين آه. اه طب اوكي سو دو يو اندرستاند ذس فاينل اكسلر فاينل سبيد ماينس انيشال سبيد اوفر ذا تايم هير ذس از ذا انيشال سبيد وين ذا تايم از زيرو اند ذس از ذا فاينل سبيد وين ذا تايم از 3 سو 24 متر بير سكند ماينس Zero meters per second over three minus zero, which is zero, which is zero. Okay. The airplane accelerates. This is the acceleration of the airplane. Eight meters. So I'm actually, I calculated that. No, I mean, I see that. I mean, every second it accelerates. Okay. 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 Is this? It's increasing. Yes, the speed is increasing. This means that the airplane speed. Thank you, teacher Abir. This means that the airplane's speed increases by eight meters per second every second. This is the meaning. Yani eight meters per second squared. That means that the airplane speed increases by eight meters per second every second. This the the speed. Of the airplane increases by eight meters per second every second. That this is for this reason we read it second square. Five. Notice in figure six that after each second of travel during take off, the airplane speed is eight meters per second. Five. Uh, greater than its speed in the previous second. Here, notice here it is zero. Then eight. Then 16, then 24. Notice that at each second, the speed increased by eight meters per second. Zero, eight, 16, 24, then 32, 40, 48, 56, then 64, like this. Look, uh, okay. Uh, evidence of the Dalmana Wakat, we have three minutes, uh, two minutes. Bye. Uh, on landing, Shuyani landing. I'm like uh, reaching the ground. Yes, on landing, the plane touches a high sura Afikra. It's taking, hey, this one, please. Hey, this page, this figure here. When uh, uh, on landing, okay. Here, this figure is taken on landing. Okay. On landing, a pl the plane touches the runway with a speed of what? This is the speed of the plane when it is, when it is landing. Okay. The figure shows the speed of the plane after one second. Of landing, calculate the acceleration of the plane during its landing. Calculate the acceleration of the plane during its landing. This is the time. This is at the beginning, and this is after one second. And here is the speed. And and here is the speed. You have to calculate. Uh, to to calculate the acceleration of the plane during its landing okay you need final initial velocity and final uh, sorry final speed and initial speed and you need the time يعني لا تفرحوا هذا homework two and three both of them بسم الله خلينا على السريع لا انا لي على الواتساب please ماشي
I bas I help you. Yani I give you a help or a hint. On landing, the plane touches the runway with a speed of what? 65 meters per second. The figure shows the speed of the plane after one second. Calculate the acceleration. خلاص حلت لك حلته. لا خلاص بعد كده. ماشي لي. خلاص. Goodbye. See you إن شاء الله. Goodbye, Mr. Yusuf. يلا سلام.